All right, next up is the More of These Award, uh, which is kind of brought about by like our middle tier game of the year. It's a little... This was really hard. It's hazier now. Yeah, this it's was... Like, this was really hard for me to think of anything that actually fit in this category. So it's not the AAA release, yeah. but it's a, it's the kind of a mid-range release. And it can't be from a major publisher, so... Yeah, that that, that was the problem. And it's not just indie games, right. but um, but anyway, like... That awkward, gooey center. Yes. The, th- those games that you'd like to see uh, more of them. Mm. So here's what we came up with. Uh, maybe. That game A was really good. Yeah. Uh, we got sti- so good. Sticks, Master Sequel of Shadows. Oh, that thing again? Huh? Uh, surprisingly, didn't get a vote. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you nominating? <laughs> uh, Hyrule Warriors, which would, you could classify as like a B release for Nintendo. Uh, Earth oh, Defense Force. That game. Which is so close to being awesome. It's almost there, guys. EDF it's almost, almost, it's e- almost like well, able to be recommended to well, people to play video well, games. Well, that's what they said about the first one, too. <laughs> almost able that's, to be recommended. Uh, Strider. Can't wait for the next gen EDF. Which I forgot was this year. Valiant Hearts. Captain Toad. Treasure Tracker. Hell yeah. And The Wolf Among Us. Which, yeah, that, that was. Yeah. I mean, I. It's, it's that one. It is not okay. Out of all of them, if that Telltale one, is AAA, yeah, this is still not their their major franchise. Oh, well, of course so it's not. It's so, like their A no, tier. huh? Yeah, I don't think it's their A tier. No, I think it's yeah. It's okay. not. I mean, it is certainly. So, it was certainly something out of left field for them. I think. Is there any other games you want to add, or at least like have the conversation if it should be uh, considered? Lords, Lords of the Fallen. Okay, <laughs> that was the other game you would have voted for. <laughs> yeah. Lord, yeah. Lords of the Fallen. I had Thief on there too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, I no, Lords of the Thief Fallen. didn't make. Yeah, yeah. Thief didn't make. No Thief. Um, I just can't think of anything that I've. Are we doing like uh, like indie? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Xenonauts. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know just if I need the more original of that. XCOM games. <laughs> just a, Game that did actually come out in this that year. Thing. Okay. Yeah, I checked. Okay. No what joust. gets cut? So, Valiant Hearts, whom Ubisoft made that, didn't they? Uh-huh. Or was it just the yep. Ubi engine? It's the, it's they the made Ubi it. art engine, yeah. Oh, okay. For but, what? But are, but it's still middle for tier? everything. Oh. Well, yeah, it's kind of like... I f- Is it just because... I it categorize it the same as, like, Blood Dragon... Oh, I got Which you. Was in it's this just category. not Assassin's Creed or Far Cry. So uh, yeah. I think I, I don't know. I just it's just one of their it's it's their Captain Toad mm-hmm. to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not a. I mean, it's not tied to anything else. Okay. Well. Mm. What's that? Child of Light. Child of Light. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that's in the yeah. same category. I just couldn't get a sense if people like that game or not. Oh, I'm weird. I'm loving that game right now. You like the rhyming? Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> okay, whimsy. what stands out? Uh, what stands out? So we need to cut stuff. So is are we cutting stuff that we really don't want? We did, we don't think is the best representative of like out of the, which three of these do you want to see more games get inspired I, by or sequels? Or I think probably Xenonauts because it is I feel like inspired by an, you know an already old game. So we don't need people to be inspired by it more. No. Okay. Just keep producing okay. it. Okay. I think EDF needs to stay on the list. We could probably cut the Wolf Among Us too. Yeah, I would. Yeah, we can cut that. Because there will already, they're all already be more of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of them. I really like Valiant. Or Strider's very classic, too. So like it, there's nothing specific I would take from Strider, although it's worth playing. Um, and I forgot that it came out this year. So I think Hyrule yeah, I think Warriors has to be. I think I think there are enough. I just want more <laughs> more Zelda games. I don't care who's making them. Or okay, well, okay. Why there are enough? Just keep making Zelda games. <laughs> Whatever that. F- what is that fucking series that it's Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors? Warriors. There's enough Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors, Warriors. Warriors. But they're, yeah, they're already doing more. Cross but at the same time, I I'm okay with Nintendo getting a little weird. So am I, and that's why I, I wanted. But we've got that with Captain Toad, so yeah, we'll, we'll make that our. So that's our our Toad's Nintendo better, keep getting weird. Nintendo yeah. keep letting doing other, people, other stuff. Uh, let yeah. other people mess with your franchises. Don't you don't have to do just your AAA stuff. Um, between Child of Light and Valiant Hearts, I'd rather go with Child of Light. Cause I would rather R- go with Valiant Hearts because it's an RPG. Valiant Hearts, where Battle. Valiant Hearts is a puzzle game. Valiant Hearts is a great adventure game. 
And is it there's a, man, there's a it's dog? A, it's a puzzle game, though. Yes, right? it's a pu- it's an it, that's what it, yeah, it's an adventure game. Like it's more has more in common with like the Wolf Among Us, but it's done in a like I'm like Telltale. Like this is a different way you could do this. That's what it's, I was thinking while I was playing. And that. the puzzle side of it, it's not like it's not like super difficult puzzle. It, but I love I lo- I really like the puzzles. I love the yeah. pacing of it, and it's more they're just telling a story with just a little bit of puzzle in there, so that you're not just watching it. Where are you at on Child of Light, Aaron? I can't remember. I I streamed it once and I've never played it again. Okay. But it was it, I don't think that's speaking to the game itself. I just got kind of it fell off my radar, but it was an interesting kind of a not non-violent mm-hmm. is a good way to put it. It's just got its own kind of character to it that I think is worth endorsing. Uh I'm okay with cutting Earth Defense Force just cuz it's so damn iterative, but it's getting closer. So don't <laughs> Next year. and and, Keep and making them. You're gonna, you're they're releasing close. this for the PS4 in Japan and hopefully it comes over here because that'll fix all the frame rate issues and up the resolution so it'll be a little bit more player playable. Wait, so you're saying the Japanese will fix that for us? <laughs> hopefully. Well, the other one was working on the problem. So yeah. Um Lords of the Fallen, the only thing I would say is there are more of those. Do you want do you want more Dark Souls clones? <laughs> I guess I guess Dark Souls is making more Dark Souls <laughs> yeah, clones. Like, so you have Bloodborne. So I feel like it. I feel like it's covered. Yeah. But I do like that Lords of Fallen exists. I like. I like, I like that, that somebody other, else. I like that other companies yeah. are, st- are stepping into. The, there's an actual genre yeah. of it now. It's not just the Dark Souls genre. <laughs> <laughs> the really, the really hard. Yeah, the hard unforgiving game. Yeah. The throw hard. your controller at the Third TV. Is it as games? hard as Dark Souls? I hear it's no, easier. Or no. it's, it's easier. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a lot easier. Yeah. yeah, it's much easier. It's EA. It's the thing oh. that is getting me ready to actually EA likes play, you to finish their game so play. that you'll buy EA, more EA of thinks it's really game. hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so much harder than Madden. What a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay getting rid of uh, Child of Light because, yeah, Valent, honestly, the reason I want to see more of those types of games, other than, like, it's a, yeah. well, it's a much simpler RPG. Okay. I let's, love the look of it. Let's Hold like, on. Yeah, the look is great. Hold on. Let's let Cole say but something about that because he voted for it. Oh, did he not? Yeah, oh. I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, I I think like if we have to have sticks on this list, um, I think Valiant Hearts and Captain Toad are more interesting to me than Child of Light. Okay, with Captain Toad, and I don't I don't I'm surprised I'm coming up with a, a knock against it. There are other puzzle games that Nintendo's made that are kind of similar to it. Like, do we like it because it's a puzzle game or I think I'm I'm more for it because I want Nintendo to make smaller games. That's why I'm into it. I mean, it was my one of my favorite parts of Super Mario 3D World, but I also like the idea of Nintendo not making huge games every so often, is but it, the small games more. Is frequently. it more unique or better as a puzzle game than Child of Light is as a unique RPG? I say that again. I it, think it, so. Is Captain Toad more unique as as a puzzle game? than Child of Light is as an RPG. I personally believe so. Okay. Yeah, and I would rather see Nintendo start to just branch off okay. in their franchises. All right. All right. Just want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, and, and, this, and the style of Child of Light, even though it's a different type of game than Valiant Hearts, that style is still there and represented. Mm-hmm. So, yep. yes. That's perfect. All right. I, I want to see a Captain Tingle game. No, no. I like, uh, uh, Tingle. Don't listen to this man. <laughs> Meet me in the restroom. I like how... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I like how Styx made it this far without anybody saying a word about it. So that's kind of a compliment. He's a real master well, of shit. Yeah, no, he snuck I, in there, yeah. Notice, yeah. notice who is, keeps bringing it up. He didn't say a single word about it because he knew it was still on the list. No one def- no, yeah, nobody wanted no, to I'm okay with it. Distract yeah. us with I don't really know. I, I'm actually leaning towards Valiant Hearts, but I'm, I can be talked out of that. So, um, I don't know anything about the other two. I have no idea about any of these games. What I like about Styx... Um, based on conversations with Jordan, is this is? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, that's how we've kind of go. Fifteen minutes ago. It, no, we talked about it on a podcast. <laughs> um, is um, he it's belligerently got, defended the game to everyone. It's that you're. I felt like it did Thief better. <laughs> oh, definitely, yeah. And you're playing as like a smaller, more fragile creature, and the uh, playing as a goblin, but the stealth sequence is working like in vertical towers. Is sounds really yeah the, sounds really cool the level design and you get a really vomit cool. on people and they die, <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they, die. they yeah, created go- goblin abilities that's real life for me lot, every day a lot of variation in it it's just it's a real simple 
set up and you kind of you end up replaying a lot of the areas two or three times that's why they're so massive and and complex but i would i would like to see uh cuz it's uh i swear it's a unity engine game oh yeah i don't know yeah like it's not even that it's not even that like some powerful studio or some big studio using some powerful. I like engine. these three as representatives of like that missing middle tier game. Though. Yeah, me too. Just, yeah, because it was a forty dollar game when yep. it came out. I think. Yeah. Um, does anybody is anybody pulling for Captain Toad to win? From what I know about Valiant Hearts, I don't think I need Captain Toad to win this. Yep. Valiant Hearts just really seems to have hit hard. In terms so of what it delivers, I thought I knew what it was going in, and I like I knew it was definitely going to be story driven. But I really loved the pace of the game. It was kind, it was really easy to play. The puzzles were really satisfying, and things just moved along. and And then that story just hits it hits hard. And but at the same time, the the artwork, this game wouldn't work with a different art style. It would be it would be just too too much of a downer. But like yeah. they do enough with I don't know because. You know, I might have just like barely survived a shelling, but just like that dog just being all happy and happy to bring me that next stick of dynamite just made my day. So, um, I don't know. Valiant Hearts is really going to stick with me. And I, I wish I had played sticks to be able to compare the two, but mm-hmm. Va- Valiant Hearts is where I'm leaning. We okay with yeah, that? Or Yeah, I'm not going to fight for sticks yeah, winning. Or anything like that. <laughs> I'll lower yeah. my Captain Toad boat. I was, Im- I was impressed that a puzzle game could be so story driven. With yeah, hearts. It, it's 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 almost done too smoothly. It's like yeah. I don't know. I'd like to figure out more of what that team, uh, what they work on elsewhere. But so our winner of the more of these award is Valiant Hearts: The Great War. Runners up: Sticks, Master of Shadows, and Captain Toad: Treasure Tracker.